What comes to your mind when you hear Paris? More often than not, the image that surfaces is the iconic Eiffel Tower. But have you ever wondered how this towering marvel came into existence? The Eiffel Tower, a symbol that has become synonymous with the city of love and light, Paris. A structure so iconic that it has become a visual shorthand for the city itself. It's an image that has been etched in our collective consciousness. A silhouette that has graced countless postcards, photographs, and films. The Eiffel Tower commands recognition worldwide, a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of French pride. But this towering marvel is not just an architectural feat, it's a symbol of an era. A testament to the ambitions and aspirations of a nation on the cusp of the modern age. The Eiffel Tower represents the spirit of innovation and progress that defined the late 19th century. It's a monument to human achievement, a testament to the power of vision and determination. You see, the Eiffel Tower isn't just about steel and rivets, it's about dreams and daring. It's about the audacity of imagining something that had never been done before, and then making it a reality. This breathtaking structure is the embodiment of that spirit, a tribute to the power of human imagination. Now imagine the Paris skyline without the Eiffel Tower. It's hard to do, isn't it? That's because this iconic landmark has become an integral part of the city's identity. It's more than just a tourist attraction. It's a symbol of the city's history and heritage. So how did this monumental symbol come about? What led to its creation? Who were the people behind this architectural marvel? And how did they overcome the challenges that stood in their way? These are the questions that we'll explore as we journey back in time to the birth of this iconic landmark. The Eiffel Tower, a marvel of human ingenuity and engineering, has a fascinating story behind its construction. It's time we delve into it. The tale of the Eiffel Tower begins in the late 19th century, a time when architectural prowess was a matter of national pride. The world was fast approaching the dawn of a new century and France, eager to showcase its progress and innovation, was preparing to host the 1889 Exposition Universelle, a world fair marking the centennial celebration of the French Revolution. Among the many proposals received for the exposition was an audacious plan to build an iron tower rising a thousand feet above the Parisian skyline. This proposal came from the company owned by Gustave Eiffel, an engineer known for his work on bridges and the internal structure of the Statue of Liberty. Eiffel's team, led by the talented Maurice Kuchlin and Emile Nouguier, brought to life a design that was both daring and revolutionary. The proposed tower, with its intricate latticework and towering height, was unlike anything the world had seen before. It was to be constructed entirely of iron and would stand as the world's tallest man-made structure. However, this groundbreaking design was not met with universal applause. In fact, the Eiffel Tower faced staunch criticism from a consortium of prominent artists and intellectuals of the time. They denounced the design as monstrous and useless, a stark iron skeleton that would overshadow the city's renowned architectural landscape. They lamented that this useless and monstrous tower would dominate Paris like a gigantic black smokestack, casting a long and unwelcome shadow over the city. But Gustave Eiffel and his team stood undeterred. They defended their design, arguing that not only was it structurally sound, but its unique silhouette would symbolize the industrial age and the technological prowess of France. Despite the controversy and criticism, the Eiffel Tower project was greenlit, marking the beginning of a groundbreaking construction process. The Eiffel Tower, a mammoth structure of iron and ingenuity, didn't just spring up overnight, it's a tale of labor, engineering prowess, and relentless determination that spanned over two years. So let's delve into the chronicles of its construction. The journey began with the foundations. Deep beneath the surface, engineers had to contend with the varying consistencies of Parisian soil. To ensure stability, they had to excavate to a depth of nearly 50 feet, erecting four massive concrete slabs that would support the weight of this iron giant. After setting a solid base, the erection of the iron structure commenced. Over 7,000 metric tons of iron were methodically assembled piece by piece into what we now know as the Eiffel Tower. The iron came from the foundries of Pompeii in the northeast of France, each part meticulously shaped and numbered before being transported to the construction site. The precision required was immense with a margin of error of just a quarter of an inch. As the tower began to take shape, it wasn't without its challenges. High winds, the threat of lightning strikes, and the sheer height of the tower posed significant risks. 
But the builders, armed with courage and steely resolve, persevered. They worked tirelessly, even in the harshest of weather conditions, to bring Gustav Eiffel's vision to life. The final stages of construction saw the addition of the tower's iconic arches and the installation of elevators, a feat of engineering in itself. With each passing day, the tower inched closer to completion, transforming the Parisian skyline forever. And so, after two years, two months, and five days of tireless efforts, the Eiffel Tower was finally complete, standing tall and proud against the Parisian skyline. It's not just a testament to the power of human ingenuity and determination, but a symbol of France's indomitable spirit. A story of steel and sweat, the Eiffel Tower's construction chronicles are a fascinating testament to the marvels of engineering. Today, this marvel of engineering stands as a testament to human ingenuity and determination. The Eiffel Tower, a symbol of Parisian elegance and French pride, shines brightly in the cityscape, its silhouette recognizable worldwide. It's not just a static monument, but a dynamic hub of activity. Millions of tourists flock to its base each year, their eyes filled with awe as they gaze up at its towering height. They ascend to its observation decks, experiencing the breathtaking panorama of Paris stretched out beneath them. It's an experience that transcends the ordinary, offering a bird's-eye view of the city of love. But the Eiffel Tower is more than just a tourist hotspot. It's a symbol, an emblem of French resilience, carrying with it the stories of its creation, the dreams of its builders. The Eiffel Tower, with its towering presence and timeless charm, continues to captivate millions around the globe. From a controversial project to an iconic landmark, the Eiffel Tower has had quite a journey. Originating from the ingenious mind of Gustav Eiffel, this intricate steel lattice tower defied the initial skepticism and criticism. It was built for the 1889 Exposition Universelle, a world fair marking the centennial celebration of the French Revolution. The construction, an epic chronicle of two years, two months, and five days, was an engineering marvel of the 19th century. Today it stands tall as a beacon of Paris, visited by millions each year, admired for its architectural brilliance and the panoramic views it offers. Over the years, the Eiffel Tower has not just etched itself into the skyline of Paris, but also in the annals of architectural history. Its enduring legacy is a testament to the power of vision, resilience, and innovation. The Eiffel Tower stands not just as a symbol of Paris, but as a testament to human innovation and the power of dreams. It truly is a marvel worth admiring.